Zwift have now rolled out club functionality to all Zwifters who are level 20 or above. The purpose of club's functionality is for club owners to create their own little club or community on Zwift and also create their own events. Now these events are true starting pet events, not just side of the road meetups. Links to these events can also be sent out and shared to anybody to join these events. You don't have to invite people in. This is a huge step forward to the old side of the road meetup functionality on Zwift. The Zwift Clubs is still a FutureWorks feature, which is beta by any other name. So expect a few rapid improvements over the next few months as this thing rolls out. But what I'll be covering in today's video is the following. Zwift Club creation and the requirements for that. Club memberships and club member types. Event creation, sharing your events. And finally, I'll take you through my top five tips for running a club and successful events. Let's get into the details. Starting off with Zwift Club creation and the requirements for you to be able to create a club on Zwift. You do need to be a paid subscriber, that's pretty obvious. Zwift also state you need to have a good standing with the Zwift customer support team. Quite an interesting little addition there to the requirement list. I think that does mean there's certain features they can turn on or turn off based on your account, similar to in-game shadow banning, if you've ever come across that. You need to be 16 years or older. You need to be level 20 plus for cycling or level 10 plus for running. I'm all about the bikes, so we're focusing on the cycling side of things. You need to belong to less than three clubs. That's a current limitation that may be lifted in the future. And clubs are created within the companion app. So you do need to have the latest companion app on iOS or Android for this little feature here to show up on screen. As the GP Llama Cycling Club already exists here on Zwift, I'll take you through the creation of another club as an overview of how to do that. So we load the Zwift companion app. We jump over to the clubs tab down the bottom. There's the GP Llama Cycling Club. I'm also a member of Velo Kicks, but to create a new club, simply create new club, give it a club name, Test Llama Club. We can set the country, we can set the language, who can join your club. We can have anybody can join, ask to join or invitation only. At this point in time, you do have to manually add people to your club. When discovery tools come along, these will be more applicable. Ask to join and anybody can join when people can find your club by themselves. So we'll click on anybody can join. That's fine for now. The club sport, we can have cycling, running or both. We hit next on that. We can select the club colors. We have a template there or whatever you want to do. Let's go red. Okay. Let's go yellow. Club icon, they're all predefined icons. You can't upload your own just yet. Uh, Llama's already taken by the Llama Cycling Club. Let's just go a little bike. Club image, again, you select from a list of predefined images that are already set by Zwift. Uh, not running. Let's go some off-road. And the club event default image. That looks like an event to me. We hit save. Preview the club. Oh, that yellow is absolutely horrible. Let's go back and change the club colors. Do that. Much better. And it really is as easy as that to create your club. So test Llama Club, country, sport, club events will look like this. And once you hit create club, your club is created. On to club memberships and membership types. Now, once you've created your club, it's time to start adding some club members because what use is a club without club members? Well, technically speaking, you don't actually need to add club members for people to be able to do your events because you can set them to anybody to join. However, I'm guessing you do want to add members to your club. This is how you do it. For clubs that you're either an owner or a moderator in, you go into the club, top right-hand corner, You'll be presented with this manage list here. Create event, create announcement, roster, edit club, leave club, or cancel. I'm currently the owner, so I have access to everything, and roster is what we're after for the club memberships. You can see here, we have one owner, myself, we have a moderator, Veronica Michich, that's Mrs. Lama, and we have 47 social members. To further define what those three member types can do, the owner can create events, modify the club, and they have all access. Moderator, you can create club announcements, invite members, accept or reject requests to join. You can ban or kick members from the group. And at this time, moderators are unable to create or edit events. Members or social members have access to club only events. If the events are set to club only, you have access to club chat and you can be assigned the ride leader or ride sweeper role in events. Zwift have published a FutureWorks clubs permissions table here, which I'll put a link to in the video description below for further reference. 
At this point in time, adding members to your club requires you to invite people into the club. There's no discovery tools as yet. Now, Zwifters do have to be following you to be invited into your club. Adding a member is as easy as clicking the plus in the top right hand corner. And we see a little notification there. You can only invite Zwifters that are following you and only 50 Zwifters can be invited to a club at one time. To find the Zwifter you want to add as a member, simply start typing. Let's type a random name here. And it appears Steve Beckett from ZHQ Rockets is following me. If I did want to invite Steve along to the GP Llama Club, I'd simply hit the plus there on the screen. Steve would then get the message saying he's been invited to the club, which he can choose to either join or reject the invitation to. To elevate members to moderators or owners, first they have to be a member. And from there, you can then choose to elevate members to moderators. And once moderators, you can choose to elevate them to be a co-owner, giving them full access to create events for the club. Now we have a club, we have club members. It's time to run through the creation of a club event. As I'm a club owner, I have access to do this. We scroll down on the club page to create event. We have an option to create a ride or a run. At this point in time, we can only do group rides. There's no group workouts as yet. We'll dive into group ride. And we do have some suggested templates here. So for coffee rides, sprint training, steady long distance. Zwift have already pre-filled quite a few. We'll go right down to the bottom and we'll do a manual build our own by clicking on routes. Along the top of the current world, so we have Utopia, Mercury Islands, London, New York, France, and Innsbruck. Let's go to the old classic, or Utopia. That will then give us a list of routes to choose from, the predefined routes. We can also sort those based on time, distance, or elevation. Let's go for a climb on, well, not much climbing happening here with 25 meters. <laughs> let's reverse sort that. That's better. Uber pretzel. No, let's skip that. Quite, let's skip that. Let's skip that. Actually, I'm going to feel sorry for anybody who clicks on this test event when I create it. So let's go distance based for now. And we'll go a simple two bridges loop. Easy done. Okay, once the route has been selected, we can give the event a title. Test event. Can I have the space at the beginning or at the end? Okay, no worries. Date and time. We can set that. This is in local time zone. That'll be today at 12 p.m. Why not? We can put a big long description in there. If we want to add a Discord link or anything else, we can add it all inside this little box here. And the event groups. We can have A, B, C, D, or simply E, which is everyone. Zwift have also predefined the watts per kilo range for each of those. Let's just leave it for an everyone event for now. Who is the ride leader? Well, we can assign a ride leader. There are the members shown there. Let's make Sheepy the ride leader. We can add a sweeper if we like. Then we can customize more detail about the route itself. So we can make it distance based and change the distance here. We can make it duration, 60 minutes, or we can do laps. We'll just do one lap. We can also change the route if we want to right here. Down to event settings. Now here's where things get very interesting. We can allow late join up to 30 minutes after the event has started. We can toggle on event results, which will pop up at the end of the ride, which can also be referenced in the companion app after the event. We can have women only events and the visibility or access to these events can be changed from members only through to anybody with the link can join. This option here is an absolute game changer for Zwift and I'll show you how to share the link out in just a few moments. From here, we click on OK. We hit publish event. And there it is, the event has been created. It starts in 19 minutes from now. Scrolling down for the details of the event there, we have one lap, we have obviously nobody going just yet because I've only just created it. And we have the description there, join the GP Llama Cycling Club group ride. As the creator of the event, I don't even need to attend this ride. This ride will run on Zwift for anybody to join who's a club member, who will see it on their feeds or who has sent the link. Once the event has been created and appears on the calendar, you can then go about sharing out the link to just club members if you like, or anybody at all who's on Zwift. To do that, we go into the event itself, top right hand three dots, we hit share, and from there it pops up with the shareable URL, which you can then send as a link to anybody directly, maybe post to social media, or send out to a newsletter. Loading up the companion app for GP Sheepy, and the event is published on GP Sheepy's event list. So we see the TDZ's happening, ZHQ event, INEOS, 
and the GP Llama Cycling Club test event has been published for GP Sheepy to attend. So if GP Sheepy wants to attend that, we hit the plus. And away we go. And now logging in as GP Sheepy, we see the GP Llama Cycling Club test event, which I'm already attending up there in the top right. We click on ride to start a ride before jumping over to the event, which pops up here, join event, sends us back over to Bitopia. And here we are in the true starting pens for this event. It's a little lonely out here with nobody else attending my small test ride, but you get the picture of what's possible now with these true starting pen events utilizing Zwift clubs. Okay, there is a lot involved here with this new Zwift club functionality. And to wrap up for today, I'll give you my top five tips for running clubs and successful events. First up, in real life clubs or IRL clubs should create a virtual event manager role, someone who will administer the club entity in the virtual space, giving their club the ability to run virtual events such as graded races or social rides. This would be a great backup plan for when there's a washout at their event. Let's just say, for example, my local cycling club, the Ballarat Cycling Club, had a Zwift club and their Wednesday night real life crit was washed out. The virtual event manager or other co-owner of the Ballarat Cycling Club Zwift Club could quickly create a replacement event on Zwift with graded racing and results. They could quickly send that link out to their membership list and regardless of people being a member or not of the virtual club, they could all participate in the Wednesday night crits virtually. Tip number two would be to promote your new virtual cycling club to your existing followers or membership based. Zwift club discovery is limited at this point, so you'll need to do the legwork to create awareness of your new virtual club. Following on from number two, number three, promote your events to your existing followers and membership base. Zwift club event discovery is a little limited at the moment, so you'll need to do the legwork to create awareness of your club events. I'd suggest using your existing communication channels, such as email newsletters and social media sites. Number four is onto the events themselves, and that is the event schedules. You need to be consistent. If you're going to hold regular events for your club, hold them at the same day and time each week allowing people to plan their week of riding in advance. This sets an expectation, and as you've seen in this video, the event creators don't even need to attend. They can simply create the event, share it out, and let the riders do the hard work. Tip number five is many hands make light work. So if you can, assign multiple club owners to create and manage the events, and within the events, assign ride leaders or sweepers to keep everybody in check if you need to. Okay, and with that, we'll leave it there for today. Thanks for watching this one. This has been an overview of the new Zwift Clubs functionality, which is still under the FutureWorks banner, meaning we may see a few updates in the next few months. I'm really looking forward to seeing how real-life cycling clubs use these new tools in the virtual space to run their events. As always, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to support this channel, and we'll see you soon in the next video.